How's it going, everybody? It is Ethan, or Unknown Coder, and welcome back to another episode of CodeCraft. In this episode, we build this massive smelter behind us that can do 640 items per minute, not per hour, per minute. And later on, we are going to duplicate this times four all around us. So stay tuned. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any more. Let's go ahead and roll the intro and get right into the video. How's it going, everybody? We are back in our CodeCraft world. This thing is massive, but it's finally finished. We turned down our render distance and we made our quality a little bit better, so all is good. So I'd really like to kind of get the floor slash the bottom of this perimeter done in today's episode. So there are a few things that we had to do. Something else I'd like to say is I've been tweaking some audio settings. I was not happy with the quality previously, so I turned down the gain on my microphone and then changed some other settings. So hopefully all sounds better. But what I want to go ahead and do first is talk about my plan for down here. So at the end of last episode, I said, I don't think we're going to be flossing this. So I'm actually going to do the opposite and I'm going to do something similar to what we have right over here. So I'm going to go through and right below the level where the top bedrock is, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in with this stuff, the deep slate. And then from there, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put gray glass on top of this. If my calculations are correct, we're going to need something like 80,000 gray glass. So that means that A, we're going to need a ton of black and white dye. So that's going to be the first thing that we deal with because it's going to be really easy. And we're also going to need something like a whole double chest full of shulkers, full of glass, which means ton of sand mining, so on and so forth. The first thing I want do is start working on a squid farm so as you guys see there's going to be nothing spawning around us that means that the squid farm is going to be super super efficient so we shouldn't have to afk very long whatsoever because we need like one eighth so that means that we need we need like six to eight to nine choker boxes full of the ink sacks so it shouldn't be too bad whatsoever somewhere over here i went and uh loaded up an old not an old version but just the seed before it got blown up and i kind of want to walk through it with you guys because it looks crazy compared to what it is now but somewhere over here is where we want to go so i want to go ahead and clean my inventory up get some scaffolding and stuff like that and get what we need um, i'm just going to build it up really quick and probably just let it run overnight i'm also going to start working on another episode of my coding videos so i'm going to be kind of mixing the two together that's going to be the plan for this episode first thing i want to go ahead and do is get that ink farm built up so i'm going to go ahead and do that and get it running and i'll be back with you guys whenever it's time to get some sand some time to afk built before and after we broke our world and deleted everything so we can go ahead and take a look at how much how much ink sack we have so i think that we probably have enough to do all of the glass that we need because each one of these is going to make like two this will make 18 so on and so forth so now what we really need to do is we need to go out and we need to go to the desert and get some sand we also need to work down here to kind of fill that area here in the next couple weeks i'm going to shift focus and start working a little bit more on my coding videos so in between takes of coding and doing stuff like that what i'm gonna go ahead and do is go off to the desert and start grabbing some sand i'm also gonna start filling in all these little dots of space in between the obsidian with deep slate like so that way it looks all pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of that stuff off camera and i'll go ahead and update you guys with my plans and all of that stuff in a little bit but i will see you guys after i do some mining some digging and some block placing this might seem slightly counterproductive, but I went to this desert to get a little bit of sand. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm also going to mix this sand with some gunpowder. I'm going to make some TNT and we're going to go mining inside of the nether for some netherite because this shovel is apparently our only shovel and it's going to get eaten up really fast because we literally need a double chest full of sand for all the glass that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and make up some TNT. I'm also going to search for where all of our stuff is for creating potions. 
potions. I'm going to get some fireproof potions and I'm going to go down to the nether, find a spot to do some mining. And hopefully we can get some netherite ingots. That way we can make some more shovels and get more sand more efficiently. We went out to the nether and we literally went to some random area. I was kind of dumb though. I did not bring along my chest plate. So hopefully I don't die. But yeah, we're just in a random area. We're just going to go ahead and essentially put down a whole bunch of TNT and just see what happens. Hopefully we can find some stuff. So I'll report back after all this is over. Hopefully this is less than 64 blocks. But I've seen a lot of people doing it this way. I'm trying at Y. I'm trying at Y level um, 14 because I read online that it's good. So I'm just going to go like one of these and do one of these. Hopefully it I'm safe back here and I'll report back after I get through all these stacks of TNT. We made it back from the nether, so I was able to get enough for 10. I did have some netherite scraps left over, so I went back to the nether for a little bit to make sure I got a nice round number. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do these five shovels. I need to get some more um, enchantments for these, so I see these aren't all perfect, but I will go ahead and get these. And I'm also going to do another five pickaxes, so I'm going to go ahead and run over. I guess I could probably do these now, so let's go ahead and do these, and I'll run over, get the enchantments, and I'll run over to the desert and try to get my first load of sand we made it to the desert i got my first uh box full of sand that i want to go ahead and get we also have some other tools so we have some shulkers we have five netherite shovels so let's go ahead and kick off a little bit of a time lapse here of me getting sand and then once we get our first boatload of sand i'll let you guys in on a little secret or what we want to do for the rest of the episode got like half the sand that i need in this box i guess it's inside my sh my box upstairs i've just been doing some busy work down here filling this in because i do want to fill all this in so now we can actually get to the part or the bulk of the episode here and i say the bulk of the episode as if this episode probably hasn't already been going for like 10 minutes here what i'd really like to do officially this episode is make some way for us to actually be able to smelt all of that sand so this is going to take like eighty thousand uh glass approximately to fill all this in and i've been making this too high whoops what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the space in between the bedrock down here like we said before and then fill the rest of this in with glass we got the dye for the dark gray or light gray i don't know what color we're gonna use we have half the sand that we need now we need some way to go ahead and smelt it so what i would like to do in this episode is go towards the middle and i want to build a mega smelter in the bottom of our base and then eventually i think i want to build our iron storage and other valuable storage around it so if we come over here to zero zero what we'll do is we'll probably build our input probably around level i don't know negative 50 or negative six actually probably negative 54 or something so about 10 blocks and I want one in each direction. So we'll have one that way, one that way, one that way, one that way. And then whenever we have items come in to get smelted, we'll split them up four different ways and it'll go super duper fast. So what I need to go ahead and do now is do some research on what type of smelter I want to use. I think I found one that is based off a of Tango Text design from Hermitcraft. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. So I'm going to go ahead and start researching that and figuring out what materials I need and maybe do some testing as well. And from there, I will go ahead, grab those materials and We'll go ahead and build that bad boy all right everyone so i'm taking a quick break from working on a coding project to actually hop back in our minecraft world so what i want to go ahead and do is start preparing this area for our smelter so this episode i'm just going to build out one of the four smelters just because it's going to take a long time but i officially kind of know what what it's going to look like so we're going to start the build out here at like 16 right here and it's going to start all the way up technically right here what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to 
go and get this area prepared so that means just flattening all this out that way it's ready for glass i'll be back with you guys with our giant list of things that we actually need to build this thing so i got the area where we're going to build the first of four this is kind of what it's going to end up looking like across this whole area so we're going to have our deep slate with gray glass on top you can barely even see the gray glass so it looks great uh, i had some glass left over from tearing down the uh, iron farm i believe so went ahead and just dyed that gray we'll go ahead and grab the rest of that later on i just wanted a nice level area to actually build upon so now we have the hard part going through and getting all of the materials for this first one so i'll go ahead and read off all the materials that we need so for just one out of the four of these quadrants of smelters we're going to need 961 hoppers so almost a thousand hoppers 871 powder rails so that's a ton of gold we're going to need 320 furnaces 120 12 stone slabs, 70 detector rails, 65 oak fence gates, 40 observers, 39 redstone dust, 38 redstone repeaters, 36 packed ice, 35 blocks of redstone, 33 droppers, 6 slime blocks, um, 4 redstone torches, 4 water buckets, an oak sign, redstone comparator, sticky piston, target block, and I believe like 32 or something like that. Uh, hoppers of my card so this is going to be a ton of hoppers and stuff hopefully it doesn't completely tank my frames um but i'm gonna go ahead and try to start gathering some of that stuff and fingers crossed we'll be able to build it in this episode we will see we actually have everything we need now it all fits into these three shulker boxes so i'm gonna take a quick break from this and then maybe also do some other work on some other things but we're going to kick off one lapse time lapse and i'm going to get this thing all built up that way in between episodes we can go ahead and get all of our glass melted and hopefully try to get our whole perimeter finished in the next episode. This thing is technically done. All I need to do now is just throw in all of our mine carts. I also want to go ahead and come over here real quick. I want to build a miniature bamboo farm here that just uses bone meal because we have plenty of bones from the wither skeleton farm. And I'm just going to have that run. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and one, power all these. So I need to make a few more redstone blocks, but we're going to power all these, get this thing filled up with fuel, and then we're going to test it out. So give me a little bit to get all of that built up. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, this thing just works. We'll be able to smelt up all of our glass that we need. And then we can build the other four of these to get everything done. I actually decided that just for the time being, I'm going to make a quick and dirty one like this because I don't really know what I want to do down below. So I'm just going to run this for a little bit make sure i can get enough bone meal to actually or get enough bamboo to actually get that thing up and running we will go ahead and test it today but i want to go ahead and just get a little bit of bamboo here i need to grab something to power this and i'll be back with you guys once i get that thing all filled up and we can spin it for a test drive all right everybody it's time for the mama of truth i've gotten this thing essentially done uh, i even got some fuel on it so i got the loaders all good to go there's 53 in here that's actually more than i thought so this should be enough for what at least 12 times uh 12 times five stacks so 60 stacks of stuff here so that's pretty good i was afking a little bit up there with the bone meal bamboo farm we have the unloader so this is similar to um, some different unloaders and how this is going to work is here this essentially gives us at least two and a half stacks i think it's more than that i don't know exactly how much it gives us so that's two and a half right there so a little bit over two and a half stacks i wanted to tweak it a little bit i could but i just wanted to get it so that it would hold at least two and a half stacks because that's exactly how much you need to fill this up and then we have a similar system to over there on each one of these sides so essentially what happens is this passes over once it shoots an item it passes over again it shoots another 
another item and then it lets all these mine carts go and lets it fill all these that way whenever it passes over once it drops in one item it passes over again it passes over another that's 10 items and then it goes over all 10 of the hoppers to put in the fuel and it should be good to go so i believe all of our mine carts are in including the one on the top so what we're going to want to do is drop in five stacks and watch it go so let's go ahead and get up there all right i got five stacks now fingers crossed i can dump this out fast enough now remember the goal here would be that up above us there'd be a four-way splitter so whenever we dump our items in like our full shulker boxes we'll break that shulker box into four and go into each one of these and smelt these four at a time so let's go ahead and just try i'm a little bit scared that's not gonna land on here but let's go ahead and hurry and it wasn't fast enough terrific it picked up two stacks so it's not going to be perfectly efficient but hopefully it's working and it goes again and it didn't pick it up again so we have to be like really fast but it should be working all right so it didn't suck up enough so we need to be faster this time because if we look in here we see we have glass and all of these we also have a cracked stone whoops what happened was the shooter is all the way down here so it never detected anything and we don't have it. although we do have something in that hopper it's watching that furnace right there so that's why so let's reset it and maybe hopefully get this thing working all right let's give this one more try i think if you do control uh control q didn't pick up any of them i don't think i picked up four stacks so for whatever reason i can't get to pick up all five stacks but whatever it should at least work this time around i would hope oh there it goes yep okay that's not great that it shot out the back so i'll have to take a look at why it did that but that was pretty dang quick so i'm going to do a little bit of research while it's shooting out the back i'm guessing it's where the signs are but yeah so that's going to be it i need to figure out how we can get it to actually suck up all five stacks as well i'm not sure what we're going to do for that but as you can see we have our so did it shoot out all of them i'm guessing that it's because this wasn't all the way full again so let's double check these it's not evenly distributing them which which is going to be an issue it's shooting everywhere so we're gonna need to put like glass all up in this and try it again but i'm gonna keep tweaking it so i decided what the heck i got some time let's work on a little bit more so let's go ahead and try it out one last time for the end of the episode okay we got all five stacks we come over here we should be able to race it so I fixed it up that way uh, I think that technically we still have to smell at least two and a half stacks um, but now we have it watching each one of those um, things right there, each one of those droppers. Whenever items go on the dropper, these things flip up, then it's going to start shooting out items. So uh, this has literally been like 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds, and here comes our five stacks of items. Just like that. So this thing is going to be super fast. We got all of our items back uh, i was having issues because i had a hopper me messed up over there but now i can redeem myself my intro now this thing is working next episode we'll be working on a fuel farm this will eventually go up i don't 100 know what color glass we're using for now i just temporarily put this here so it wasn't spraying all over the place and unfortunately with the design change i'm about to put a trap door right here otherwise it spews out but it is what it is but anyway guys i want to thank you all for watching this has been ethan on okoda i'll see you guys next episode peace out have a great day everybody